Hi guys, hope you're all well and welcome to this commission showcase video. We have a really cool Warhammer Underworlds Night Vault the Eyes of the Nine warband for you guys to look at. A really cool project. Uh, if you're new to the Siege Studios YouTube channel, then firstly, welcome. Siege Studios is a UK-based premium commission miniature painting service with 28 members of staff who all paint from our basic level, which is an above tabletop with our bronze level, all the way up to competition entry quality with our platinum level. If you are interested in a the commission, then very simply, we need to do is head to our website, which is linked in the description of this video. So if you go to the link that says get a quote, you'll go be taken straight to the contact form. And on that contact form, you need to select the drop down options from those available that are relevant for your project and in the message section include a list of models in our format which is shown on that contact form uh, to get the process started with us. We're back in a second to have a look at this awesome warband in more detail. See you guys back in a sec. So a really cool wall band for us to check out today. Uh, really, really cool models. Each one obviously is very unique. Um, it's the Warhammer Underworld's Eyes of the Nine wall band. Really, really cool models. Uh, obviously Zinch in flavor, um, but some really cool different models that you're gonna have a look at. So they've got this blue horror to start off with. Again, a really, really cool model. Let's just get it to focus for you guys so you can actually see what we're looking at today, um, which it doesn't want to. There we go. Uh, really, really cool model. Uh, obviously with these flame, the purple flames on his, uh, on his hands or to two of his three hands, should I say. Um, these are all these models have been painted by Fletcher, one of the artists here at Siege. Really lovely tonal variation on the skin of this, uh, this blue horror as well, which is really cool. Uh, we've got some brimstones, cheeky little chaps here, as you can see, uh, with their flaming bodies. Uh, really, really cool models, as you can see. Uh, it's tiny little details, but Fletcher's done a stellar job of just highlighting those to look like they're a raging inferno, which is really cool. Um, we've got these two awesome chaps, just to have a look at them. Again, this guy's charging forward here with this really menacing sort of scythe kind of sword thing which is really nice shield on his back there as you can see and lovely tonal variations and cues on that skin tone as well uh, to a very natural realistic looking skin tone there with the gold work with some nice highlighted on it as well which is really lovely um we have the other chap exactly the same but he's obviously just got his guard up with his shield as well which is really cool Again, like all the little extra details and things like the little uh, claw horn that's just dangling off his belt as well, which is really nice. Uh, but the skin tones are really lovely on these models. Uh, so that's just those two. And then we'll pull forward the Zangor. Again, a really awesome model with dripping with detail. There's loads of little bits and bobs that uh, Fletcher's had a great time working on. Uh, and I do like these little purple glows that are on the bases as well. Nice little attention to detail there that we put in just to really add that little sort of zinch feel to these uh, awesome models. Uh, so that's just the Zangor from the uh, warband. And then we have the, I'd imagine the leader from the units. Uh, again, loads of little extra bits and bobs of work have been done on him just on the skin tone, glazing color into the skin, subtle purple glow on the hand there, as you can see, and all the little plumes from this wing that's just uh, manifested from his back as well. Uh, lovely, lovely glazed color on there. Just a lot of time spent just getting that lovely transition from the darker to the lighter on those feathers. Uh, we've got these staff there with all the gold work and everything all fully highlighted and painted as well in a really lovely fashion. And uh, all the little teeth and individual details all fully picked out as well in a lovely a standard uh, great little war band uh, great little game and I do hope you've liked it we're back in a second to just find out how you can take a war band commission out with us and see these guys again very quickly in all their glory see you guys back in a second So thanks for sticking around to the end of the video, guys. Really appreciate it ever so much. And I do hope you've liked this awesome Warhammer Underworlds Knight's Vault, the Eyes of the Nine Warband. Really cool models, each one very unique, obviously, uh, but really, really cool. And I know that Fletcher had a great time working on them. If you are interested in commissioning with us here at Siege Studios, and all you need to do very simply is head to our website, which is linked in the description of this video. Just click on the link next to get a quote, and you'll be taken directly to our website's contact form, where what you can do is select all the drop-down options that are relevant for you and your project, and also in the message section, include a list of models in our model list format, which is shown on there as well, to fire that off to us to get a quote back from us and get the process started. Uh, also in the description of the video, you can find all of our social media links, so Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. If you can give us a follow and like on there respectively, that would be appreciated greatly. And if while you're here on YouTube, do us a huge favor and subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon, and you'll never miss a video that we put up. Uh, and if you do collect any wall bands from uh, Warhammer Underworlds, let us know in the comments. It'd be really nice to have a chat to you about it. See you guys on the next one. I hope you've enjoyed it. Take care. Bye-bye. I want to make sure that you guys have an accessible way to get hold of skills and new techniques and develop yourselves as painters. And that's it really, guys. So thank you very much, and we hope you'll, uh, you'll join us on Patreon.